Okay, and welcome back to Styling Forward. Well, people have been falling by the wayside over the last few weeks, and we are up to our fifth episode, I believe. Episode. So, welcome back. I'm just going to go through our honourable sponsors who have uh, very kindly sponsored the program, and that's By K Designs, My Animation, Avcon Productions, Stiletto Moody, Miss Virtual World Organisation, and Metaverse Television. The prizes are fantastic. There's a hundred thousand Lindens uh, cash money. Lovely. Uh, there's the cover of Bossel Magazine, a contract with Boulevard Model Agency, and a Mayor Culpa goodie bag. And now now it just remains for me to introduce you to our wonderful judges. Hello, judges. We'll start with a Mimi Boa looking. Ah, oh, we do not have Mimi. Well, I'll no. come to that in a second. Hold we on. have a devil. We have a devil. Yeah. But first of all, we're going to go to our guest judge today, who is Mia Rabani. Very welcome here, Mia. Hello, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And next we have the horny person, Frolic Mills. Hello, Frolic. Oh my, horns it is. Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> I'm excited about the show. Oh, I think it's going to be pretty amazing. Oh, but where is Mimi? Can we see Mimi anywhere? No, we can't. We seek her here, we seek her there, but where is she? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mimi Paul. Now I have to say, I think Mimi, I think she's been dying to get on this catwalk. We did Miss Virtual World this afternoon as a Halloween extravaganza. Oh, my goodness. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the contestants have got something to beat tonight if Mimi's setting the standard here. I, I, I am the devil. You, you know, Mima, Mimi was supposed to be on her Halloween show, but she was taping a film um, oh. for this virtual organization. So I'm happy she can model for us today. So wonderful, Mimi. You're the best devil ever. Look oh at that. Sexy devil woman, you. Oh so my it's God. either film star or model. But at the moment, Mimi, you can't do both. <laughs> Ooh, I love the hair. Look at that. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, that's what she thinks of me. Well, I'm not going to get on the wrong side of that trident, I have to say. So, very gently, I'm going to ask, please, Mimi, would you take your seat next to our guest? Yes. She wants to model Let me try. Okay, sit down, damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Everybody's looking completely scary. So, let's stand by for our first contestant. And we have first Leandra Breen. Come on down, Leandra. <gasps> God, she fills it with those wings. Oh, my word. Leandra, do come down to the front. And, and I'm really a nice girl. I think I'm just going to be scared stiff here today. Oh, my God. Wow. What can I say? So let me know. Uh, we'll go to Mimi Boa first for comments. So let me know. Oh, my. Leandra, scary. Oh, my God. <laughs> God, I think uh, I don't need words. I don't need words because this is oh, absolutely perfect. Look at every little details on this outfit. Look at the pound feet. A uh, pound feet is fabulous. And look at the skin and the outfit. This is really a masterpiece. I don't have other words. Masterpiece. Thank you. And now to Mia Rabain. What do you think, Mia? Oh, I have to say that I'm just blown away. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that Frolic always used to say when I was in Miss Versha World was that you should always, always take a look at the texture of what you're wearing. And everything that she's wearing is mm -hmm. perfect. Like, I, I am on my low graphic settings, but still I can see her so well and she looks fabulous. And I'm just blown away. Fantastic. Amazing. Oh. Great job. Thank you, Mia. And Frolic, coming to you. Yeah, I am really liking this because mm -hmm. I um, I know the works of uh, Jun Dion and, um, and 
Zintatsu very well, and I think she made a beautiful combination of uh, the elements from those two outfits. And I just love the way the little wings in the middle contrast with the big wings on top. I think she did a really interesting job, and and um, and it looks well put together. You know, I I, I was afraid that it was going to be too much because she's wearing three wings, yeah. and it may be too much. I mean, you have fire wings, you have red wings, you have you know black wings. It's like woohoo, wing festival. But you know what, Leandra, it works. Um, it looks uh, well put together. It makes sense. It looks creative and it looks um, tasteful, mm -hmm. which was something I was going to be a little worried about you. But you know what? It, it, I think it's really nice. So you did good, honey. Thank you very much, Leandra. If you'd like to take your place um, back at the stage area, thank you very much. And the next person we have is um, Lorelai. I'm really scared, actually. Leandra was the fire dragoness, I should say. She was, she was the fire dragoness. And I'm very partial to the old dragon, I have to say. Next we have Lorelai Bailey. And Lorelai is the corpse bride. Okay, thank you. So, first we come to Mimi. Well, I... I saw perfectly backstage Lorelei, and now you will see a, a light, I think, because this is uh, the um, part of the outfit. She is a, a quiet, cute zombie down this uh, Babaloo's uh, um, white fog, and she did a very creative stuff. It is really incredible. Look at the crows. Mm. that fly around and look at this effect of the light i think this is uh, ah, another fabulous masterpiece okay today i will use this word masterpiece a lot okay and um i think frolic is asking lorelei to take yeah, the to fog take off for a little while fog. so he yes. can get a better look at her uh, but we come now to mia mia what do you think um, I'm just rezzing actually, but from what I'm seeing, uh, I really like what she's done here because I think Halloween is all about, um, looking supernatural or scary and she does look scary, <laughs> but I think, uh, I've been watching this since the last, um, four or five weeks and I know the competition is getting more and more tough with each passing week. I think she could have done a little more better. Because I know she's a great stylist. Okay, so coming to Frolic. Yeah, Lur, I think I actually like it, Lorelai, because you look like the scariest, <laughs> wicked, w bright nightmare from the universe. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking at you and I'm like, oh my, who's going to marry this poor woman? Uh, but I. You know, I just like the I you know, one of the things that I that I say a lot with styling is that you must paint a picture, you know, a virtual picture. And from that perspective, I think you are painting, honey, everything that Halloween has to do. I mean, you have the crows and you have the scary witch and you have, you know, this bride from hell and you have the fog. I mean, as far as painting the Halloween picture, I think this is amazing, Lorelai. I agree with Mimi. This is a masterpiece. Um, I cannot think of a better styling. I really, really like this um, exercise. Now, the fog, honey, really, seriously, you need to get rid of it. Because you know what? We are missing part of your styling, and that doesn't make sense. I wish you would have done it more uh, lower down, you know, towards your skirt and not on your... Um, armpit or I don't know where the hell this fuck is coming from but I wish you would have lowered it because we're missing you okay now I can see you see I I love that you know I love the blood skin and I love the the lace and you know don't hide that because it's really really beautiful put together the crows flying yes absolutely I love it very well done Laurel I, I really like this Thank you very much, Lorelai. If you want to go to the back, please, and uh, join Leandra, that would be fabulous. Thank you. I don't tell anybody anything. They're too scary. Okay, the next one we have is Melanie Soturo, and she is the Princess of the Lost Skulls. The 
I know. I mean, what can I say? The princess of the lost skull. Yes. I think we're being attacked by the crows. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, don't put the bread out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The princess of the lost crows. I think, I, think it's... I think Doza is really scared today because she talks... Uh, Madly. <laughs> she talks madly. Yes. yes. And look at Melanie. Oh, another fabulous, incredible outfit. Look at the orange rain. And look at the poems. And she did another masterpiece. This is really amazing. It's uh, okay. I. I can let you um, see wow. how Melanie is able to uh, put together outfits and give outfits a personal um, way, a personal imprinting. Uh, I know that uh, this part of the skirt is from Green Brothers and she plays very good with everything she wears. This is a peculiarity of Melanie. I really love the, the choice of the outfit, it's different, it's scary and it's fashion, so uh, fabulous Mel, I love it. Okay, now we go to Mia. Um, I really love it and the reason I love it is because I've been watching Melanie and whenever she wears an outfit or costume, she always makes it look high fashion. Like right now I'm looking at her and I totally see Halloween. It's not just black and white and red. She has incorporated the Halloween pumpkins, orange color. And, and on top of everything, she looks like a model. She looks like, she looks very high fashion. And I, I'm loving it. Excellent. Wow. Okay, Frelik. I have to agree. You know, I want to, you know, even if I tried my absolute best to criticize this and find something wrong with it, it's impossible. Melanie... You know, from that last week you had coming into this week, it, we've seen amazing work from you. I mean, your um, what you did for last week. Um, oh, what's her name of of, of that witch uh, from Sleeping Beauty? And Maleficent. Yes, Malefic Maleficent. Maleficent. From Maleficent, and now we see this queen of the skulls and the pumpkins, and you're like the whole queen of Halloween, honey. So you did great, and. Honestly, it's so original. It's not the usual scary black and white thing that most people go for. You look beautiful. You look stunning. You are definitely Halloween. And this is very nicely put together. Congratulations, Melanie. Thank you very much, Melanie. If you would like to take your place, I'm just going to go through the prizes again because uh, it's so... Everybody has stepped up their game so much. Um, and what they're playing for is all to play for. You know, the grand prize is 100,000 Linden. There is the cover of the Bossel magazine, a contract with Boulevard Model Agency, the Maya Culpa goodie bag. Um, on top of that, you are in front of, you know, the virtual world's judges par excellence. And, uh, and then the thing is sponsored by By K, My Animation, Avcom Productions, Stiletto Moody, Miss Virtual World Organization by Metaverse. You know, a lot of people are seeing this. They are changing the styling, aren't they, Frolic? Uh, you know, I, I was just talking to you and, and, you know, sharing this because I really think that, you know, the show, the name of the show is so properly placed, you know, styling forward. And I think these people have exactly accomplished that. You know, they brought styling forward. I don't think anybody who's following this show will ever wear something off the rack again. You know, it's like, oh, it's all about combining and mixing and matching and cre 